Hi hopefuls, I hope that you're well. You will be hearing a game in the background. Owen is borrowing my tablet at the moment and Poppy is taking a nap and we're coming from the kitchen today. Katie Rebecca, I also feel like January went by so fast, but in like a good way. Like things were happening, I was feeling good and looking forward to February. I can't believe softball season is so close. Ooh. But I love seeing your nails and showing the different things that you've been doing with them. And you influenced me to buy some nail polish, which I just took off because I was going to repaint them. It's been so long since I bought nail polish. I bought three colors. I got a black, a red, and a yellow. I love black on my nails. So it feeds my inner emo. Raquel. I hope that we find a way to meet up. This year would be amazing, obviously sooner the better in my opinion. We still need to get a passport for Poppy. She still doesn't have one, so that would have to be on the to-do list before we could make that happen. But I would also love if you guys came and stayed in the area as well. I would definitely show you around, host you, put you up, like whatever. Obviously it would be better if we had more of our house finished <laughs> first, but that could be a totally doable thing. Raquel, you also influenced me to pick up my crocheting stuff again. I even tried to like work on my one knitting project I've got, which like I'm not as good at knitting as I am crochet and I'm still like only okay. Like I know enough to be dangerous. I did pick up my basket of yarn and I'm trying to go through all of this yarn that I've had for years and years and years and I've never used or they got used for other projects and then it's just sat in my closet. I haven't crocheted anything since before Owen was born. So I have just been making granny squares out of some of my yarn and just trying to use up the skeins that I've had. So I want to make a granny square sweater. So it's going to be just random hodgepodge color bits and just trying to use as much small scraps as I can. Like this is what's left of the blue skein. I'm gonna try to use this. But seven years, seven years is such a wild number. I love that we had this like video pen pal platform that's turned into actual friendships. I don't, I think we talk in our group chat at least once a week. That is wild to think that seven years ago we were strangers and now it's turned into like a friendship thing, an actual friendship thing. I love that. I look forward to the day that we actually get to meet up with each other. And I don't know if you've ever met up with an internet friend. I've done it once. I have met up with one friend that I had made through the internet. And the first bit is like really like nerve wracking and like exciting and a little bit awkward. So I'm excited for us to get through that. I would like to, our first meeting to just be the three of us because I want to be able to give you guys my full attention and not have to worry about my kids. <laughs> Hopefully that first meeting gets to be just the three of us and like meeting and getting through like that nervousness, the awkwardness and like finding that flow and seeing if it all like works in real time as well. Like it's, it's a little nerve wracking, but really exciting to think about. So hopefully meeting up will be something that we can do within this next year, going on eight years doing this channel. It's amazing, it's so wild. I'm so happy that we're still doing it. But that is all for this week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you back here next Tuesday.